guys. So today we are going to be practicing our rolling skills. I'm going to show you some household items that you can use to make up games to practice these skills. So the first game that we'll play um, will be a rolling game into this bucket. So you're going to need something um, that will catch your ball. All right, I just have this big black empty bucket in my basement. Uh, this can also be a laundry basket or a cardboard box if that's what you have, all right? Then you're going to need something with a flat surface that is strong, firm. So um, I chose my ironing board. Notice that it is flat, the legs are not out um, so that I can lean it up against something with an angle. And if you don't have an ironing board or you can't use this, then um, a cardboard box would be fine. If you just had a long piece of cardboard, you could use that. All right, and then you're gonna need something tall like a chair to prop up your um, flat surface on, whether it's an ironing board or a cardboard box, all right? And then you're gonna need a ball. Um, this is just like a foam soccer ball that I have, but you could make a ball by um, crumpling up pieces of paper and taping it into um, a circle, or you could, um, you could also use a pair of socks and just roll up the socks so that they um, are in the shape of a sphere like this and can roll down. So you're gonna start at the top of your ironing board. You can start from behind like this and drop your ball and see if you can get the right accuracy to angle the ball to let it roll down the ironing board and into your target. All right, you can also stand from the side like this. But... So I would practice a few times um, with your target at the bottom, your basket or your bucket, whatever you have. I just noticed my boots in front of this bucket, I forgot to tell you. Um, you're gonna wanna have like a weight or something that you can put in front of your bucket so that the ironing board doesn't slip underneath the chair and knock everything over forward. So I just had these pair of boots. Um, they are heavy enough to keep the bucket um, stable and where, where it is in its spot, all right? When you have done this game um, and practiced enough, maybe you practice with a partner, you guys can take turns, or maybe you build two um, rolling ironing boards with two different buckets and race. Um, you come up with your own point system for that. But once you have practiced that enough, you can move on to um, rolling the ironing board and incorporating the DIY bowling with bottles. All right, so I'll show you how that's gonna be done. You'll move your weight from your bucket and you're gonna take your bucket away from the chair. And then you can slide your ironing board down the chair so it's not as steep of an angle anymore, all right? And start from up here. And when you roll it, you want it to be at a good angle so you're gonna to try to knock down as many bottles as you can. All right, so if you have any empty water bottles at home, then you can use that. Of course, maybe you want to recycle them afterwards. Um, if you have cans at home, that'll work too, all right? So anything that um, you can knock over can be um, whatever your bowling pins, your bowling pin simulator is gonna be, all right? So you can do this a couple times, practice your rolling skills. Oh, that one's sideways. I only got one bottle down there. So we'll try it again. Remember, you want to stay in the middle. I'm going to get over my ironing board. It's a better, much better hit. All right. So I hope you guys try this game out and practice your rolling skills at home with some household materials that you have. I miss you all. See you soon.